Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another one of our videos. Today's gonna be another cooking one since the last one did really <laughs> well. Last one was the onion, or French onion soup, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so today we are making Auntie Anne's pretzels. They're good. We're gonna make uh, three different versions of them. There is the sweet almond one, the regular salted, and the cinnamon sugar one. Yes. Um, sweet almond is my favorite. I think salted is my favorite. Yeah. Um, but we've had this like kit or package ever since like COVID started. They yeah. were like selling packages to make at home yourself. So it's been about six, seven months. Yeah. I think it's about time we make them. This is the kit that I ordered. I think it was from the Auntie Anne's website, but I honestly can't remember. If they still sell it, I will link it down below. But this comes with everything that you need for the cinnamon sugar and the salted pretzels. But we had to look up a recipe, which I will also link down below for the sweet almond ones. So we got some light brown sugar and some sliced almonds, which we're gonna kind of toast on the stove, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then we also have some cheese sauce and sweet glaze which we actually picked up at <laughs> Auntie Anne's after having this <laughs> because I don't know about you guys but I need sauce with my pretzels. Yeah you can't just have an Auntie Anne's pretzel without like, either one of these. It, yeah, it doesn't work. You, you need it. So we have everything that we need right here and I guess we're just gonna see who can make the best pretzels. On the front it says it was packaged safely by Vanessa with love and gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I literally got this in like March. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I guess let's... Shout out Vanessa. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to you. Let's get started cooking. So that's what we're doing in today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Also comment down below. All of our social medias will be listed in the description box. <laughs> yeah. That was so awkward. That was really awkward. Try again. Yeah. Also, I don't no, I'm gonna so. include it. The kit also came with this sheet of instructions on how to make the dough, how to twist the pretzels and bake them. So this is kind of what we're going to be following for the most part. And for the sweet almond pretzels, you are supposed to have toasted almonds, which we don't have. We couldn't find them at the store. We just found these regular sliced almonds. I thought Jarvis was gonna hand them to me, but I'm just like, <laughs> here they are. You, you reached here. for them twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so we just got these plain sliced almonds from Target because we couldn't find toasted almonds and we're gonna toast them ourselves. Well, we found roasted almonds, but I told Paige <laughs> roasted isn't the same thing as toasted. Yeah. So I'm gonna toast them myself. Yeah, so. I'm so anal, like. <laughs> <laughs> about his almonds. <laughs> so, uh, I don't even know how to do this, uh, so I'm just gonna crank it on. I would say some butter. Butter? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just like a little bit of butter maybe. Okay. I am not an almond person, but I do like these sweet almond pretzels mm -hmm. from Auntie Anne's. I never tried them until I met Jarvis. Yeah. I used to go to the mall with my mom like every weekend and I remember the highlight always being Auntie Anne's sweet almond pretzel with cheese. <laughs> so that's where I started enjoying that. I just noticed that we say it differently. I say Auntie Anne's and you say Auntie Anne's. Well, it's Auntie. So. It's Auntie. 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 It's not A-N-T-I-E. It's A-U-N-T-I-E. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so, <gasps> Why did that sound like that? You're like stuck. <laughs> Let's take a highlight of the utensils we have here. So these are like the utensils we have. Uh, it's a great array of utensils. Yeah, our favorite is the the juicer, yes. <laughs> which we have not used yet. <laughs> um, but for some reason, we need to get new spatulas. I know, I because know. Because these are the only spatulas we have, and they are pig themed. Okay, well, it doesn't matter that they're pig themed. They're just yeah, really small. They're small, but yeah, I guess that's the issue. Okay, so <laughs> let's just give this a little, little one of these. Yeah, I have no idea how you to toast almonds. We Maybe probably... we should look it up. Yeah. Probably would be a good idea if we're giving. Or we could <laughs> just wing it. <laughs> All right, we're winging it. Can I add the almonds? Yeah, go ahead. All right, how many should I do? Just, just enough to layer it. Ooh, that butter smells so good. <laughs> 
like that. Yeah, that should do. All right, well, while you're toasting that, I'll start prepping the dough. So Jarvis just looked up how to toast almonds, and it says to not add oil because it can burn them. So I think we should just make two batches and see how they turn out so that we didn't just, like, waste all these almonds. <laughs> so these are the ones that have the butter on them, but we're going to start a new pan with the plain almonds. So to start making the dough, I'm going to mix the yeast with one and a quarter cups of lukewarm water. And I'm going to be adding it to this metal bowl here. And it says to let the yeast sit for about two minutes, which will, I guess, sort of like activate it. The yeast already came like pre-portioned in this little hopefully the yeast bag. is so good does yeast go bad it will it can be bad yeah well hopefully the yeast is okay because <laughs> that's really important yeah so i'm just gonna let this sit for two minutes and then we're gonna add the dough mixture to it all right so it's been about two minutes the yeast has been activated hopefully <laughs> uh no it doesn't say it's supposed to bubble yeah it is it is Oh, okay. Well, I hope so. I don't know. It's supposed to bubble. Okay, well, we're going to add our 681 grams of dough mix to the bowl. And then we're going to start mixing. And it says, I looked up some recipes like online, like copycat recipes. And it says to use like a mixing bowl, which we do not have a mixer. So that's good. So we're just going to have to use our hands and hopefully we can mix it well enough. Jarvis is over here toasting the almonds and the ones that we added butter to smell like burnt popcorn. So that definitely was not the right move. So he's currently mixing the unbuttered ones on some heat. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Should I like whisk this? Add dough, knead. You gotta use It says hands. knead? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well. We're not professionals. I probably not... shouldn't knead it with my nails, so do you want to knead it? Yeah, you want to toast these almonds? Yeah, I can toast they're the almonds. Done. Okay. They're, yeah. they're almost done. Okay. You need maybe one, two more minutes. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to take over kneading. Um, this is an awkward angle. I think up from over. Should I go like this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like watching myself through the camera. This is weird. <laughs> You guys are getting a first person point of view here. <laughs> oh. I don't know how to knead. Is this kneading? Am I doing it? I really hope the yeast is still good. Me too. Here's our um, toasted almonds looking fresh. Mm. They smell look good, <laughs> I guess. Look good? I think once we add sugar to them, they'll smell better. For sure. Do we have flour? Do we have flour? Yeah. That's gonna suck. All right, so this is definitely a ball now, so we should be good. Only thing is we gotta figure out where we can find some flour <laughs> real quick. There's our lightly floured surface. Now let's go ahead and plop her on there. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So now you have to knead the dough what is for knead? five to seven minutes. Like I... use the this your hand and just like work it through. Oh, I have one that has, oh, but we just used our flour. Here, 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 here. Push it against that. <laughs> Is that better? Oh boy. Oh, there we go, on my lightly floured surface. <laughs> okay, well, while you're kneading that, what should I do? <laughs> Sit there and watch me. <laughs> We're never prepared for these. No. Never. There's always something. I just have like a little piece of a stick of butter <laughs> and I'm just going around the bowl. Grease in the bowl. Super fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. I feel like this is gonna be a fail. A lot, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it doesn't appear that our lightly floured surface is hindering yeah. the experience. <laughs> Honestly, I think it could have used a little more water in there. Yeah. And then that would have made a difference with the flour, but since it was pretty flour to begin with. 
then that's good. Yeah. Wow. Look at that kneading action. <laughs> okay, well, once he finishes kneading that, we have to put it in this bowl and cover it with plastic and let it sit for 30 minutes in a warm spot so it can rise. Um, and so while it's doing that, we're gonna preheat the oven and get that stuff ready. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say, are we gonna put it in the oven? Is that our warm spot? But if you're gonna preheat uh, it- Oh, no, gonna... that's not. <laughs> I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have some plastic wrap that Jarvis just sprayed with avocado oil. And we're gonna cover this up and we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. And if everything is okay, it should rise. But if the yeast flops, then I don't know what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna see the video. yeah, then you'll never see this video. <laughs> So I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes and we will be back. All right guys, time's up. Let's see if it rose at all. I'm so scared. Oh! I think it did. You think so? A little bit. I really don't think so. I don't know. Well, we'll try it. Keep it going. I don't think it rose. I think it's supposed to be way bigger than that. Well, it's supposed to make 10 pretzels. Time to give it a go. Oh boy, I really don't think that worked. <laughs> I think the yeast was dead. Oh no. Dead on arrival. How long does yeast last? Well, sometimes yeast just doesn't work. Oh boy. Oh, I really hope that's risen. I don't I, think so. But. I feel like it is, so I'm going to be positive-minded. Okay, so we have a clean counter. We're gonna spray it with a little bit of avocado oil and then we're going to roll out our pretzels. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I guess I'm just gonna do a little... This feels wrong. Okay. I guess that's good. Ready? Yeah, they say lightly grease. It is lightly. Oh, bounced back a little bit. All right. So this is supposed to be ten pretzels. What are you doing? Do you, do, what are you, what are you, why are you separating it? Because it into ten balls. That's what I said. Yep. Oh. Get rolling. Rolling? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <gasps> oh, this looks more right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Cool. I got my first pretzel. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> <gasps> Yours looks way better. Wait, why does mine look like the way it does? All right, guys, so here's what my pretzels are looking like. I did five of them. This one's like a lot smaller than the other ones. And then Jarvis is over here still going. Yours look pretty good. You can make another one. No, I'm okay. No, yeah, you shouldn't. No, one. it's okay. I'm Yours, gonna get the baking soda. Yours look so much better. No, I think, okay. no. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna get the baking soda wash prepped. So basically, we have to mix some baking soda and water in this bowl, and then you dip the pretzels in here, and then apply it to the nonstick pan before you put it in the oven. So I'm going to mix this with four cups of water, and then I will be right back. Okay, so we have our baking soda water mixture here. This is so I don't have to spray it with nonstick spray, right? What? This silly pat thing or whatever. Uh. Or should I, mean, I still spray it with nonstick spray? Yeah, it doesn't stick. Um, you could give it a little coating. Okay. Because um, it says to put nonstick spray on. Yeah, just give it a little bit. So I'll just do like <laughs> a little bit. There we go. Now we're gonna dunk each pretzel briefly into. Oh boy, this right here. So I'm just going to dip it in there and set it down. I don't know if we're going to be able to bake all of these 
at the same time. Well, you gotta give it some room. What do you mean? You think, you, see, you know, how big are they gonna grow? I don't know, you think that's too close? Yeah. I think you should like offset them and do maybe like four at a time. Um, you post, not post. <laughs> You put cinnamon sugar on them after you bake them if you want cinnamon sugar ones. Uh -huh. And you put the salt on before and then you butter at the end, like after they're baked. All right, now the uh, oven is preheated, so we are going to put them in the oven. Yeah. All right. How long? Five minutes, so we'll do That's it. Well, then you like flip it around and do two to five more minutes, so. We've got our timer going. We will turn our oven light on. We will check on those in a little bit. And in the meantime, we should do our almond mixture. Here's what our brown sugar almond glaze is looking like so far. Oh, and the timer is up. It's time to check on the pretzels. So let me go ahead and turn this off. And let's take a peek. Oh, okay, they're looking good. We're gonna have to microwave some butter for the end, so I just put some in this little ramekin, and then I'm going to microwave that. They're definitely not golden brown yet, so <laughs> uh, we need to keep those in for a couple more minutes. I just looked down at my phone, which has butter on it, and look, Auntie Anne's. We're ready for Cyber Week. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take them out of the oven. Is it's, that me? Yeah, that's your cue. Okay. What you doing? Where's my glove? Oh, right there. Okay. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right, They're all looking right. pretty good. All right, so now. Wow. I need to. This one looks a little deformed. It looks like a chicken. <laughs> Or a turkey. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh boy, can you get a plate for me, please? Yeah, the salt's crackling. Yeah, I'm gonna put them on. Oh! Do we get a call? Oh, that's looking good. It looks like the regular it, ones. It just fell. <gasps> I'm just gonna. Put... Oh, should I? Can we? Do you want another plate for each one? No, I'm just gonna put them all on one until I butter it. Well, besides the cinnamon one. Oh, oh no. no, that one broke. So I have my salted pretzels here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of melted butter and just kind of like drizzle it on, I guess. I'm so excited and <gasps> nervous at the same time. <laughs> you might have to like slouch a little bit to like be in frame. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try it salted first. Yeah. Okay, do we... I want this stick right here. Okay, go for it. Here's the... So, I'll grab this. Oh, it just broke right off. <laughs> looks like a... Like a king crab claw. It looks pretty good. No, it actually does look really good. And it good. smells good, too. I thought the... It didn't rise, so... I think we'll be okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and dip it in. I'm scared. Ready? Cheers. Mm. It's like a petrol. Mm-hmm. It's actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Now, would you think this was Auntie Anne's if no. you blind tasted it? Mm -mm. <laughs> it's way saltier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the texture's a little bit different. It's a little bit harder. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're back. The camera battery ran out of, not the camera battery. The camera battery ran out of memory. <laughs> um, the SD card ran out of memory. But now, we're gonna try the cinnamon sugar pretzel, <laughs> which looks pretty good. Yeah. It looks a little back. different than the normal ones. I realized the Auntie, <laughs> Auntie Anne ones <laughs> come with a like, it's like flat on the back and it's yeah. like a little bit charged, so. Okay. It, it looks all right. It's just not as like even as it usually is. I'm gonna try to grab it from the middle. I have like a little twig. See if it's a little fluffier. Can you get okay. the icing? Okay. Oh. Thank you. Bon appetit. Maybe we made them too thin. Too thin. I think we did. I think so. Cause like the inside of like the thicker part was fluffy. Yeah. It like that was like good um, pretzel. What the heck texture? <laughs> 
<laughs> is that looking good? Uh, for now, I guess. Just, we need like a baster. Mm-hmm. A little brush or something. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is instead of getting all that almond, just like touch the bottom. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do with the butter. Like use the back of the Ooh, spoon. It's gonna be almondy. So now these need to go back in the oven for like three more minutes. Mm -hmm. And then they should be ready. We're gonna save this one for another cinnamon sugar pretzel. Okay. Alrighty. Jarvis just said these ones smell the best. They definitely look interesting. <laughs> they don't look like the regular ones, I feel like. But they still look good. Alright. Alright guys, we're gonna try the sweet almond pretzel. I don't know how I'm feeling about this one. It looks a little... Look at the bottom. Oh boy. Isn't it? Here, look. I'm try. It's like all the cinnamon, or the brown the sugar, sugar, just like is toasting away on the bottom oh, of boy. the soap hat. All right. So, so the weird thing about this is that Jarvis likes to eat the sweet almond pretzel with cheese sauce. Yeah, it's really good. So I think I'm gonna try it with both, but I guess I'll try the cheese sauce first. Okay. Well, we're grabbing a leg. Okay, so I'm grabbing this leg. I want that leg. Got this leg. Okay. Cheese first. Yeah, cheese first. Okay. I hope Go it's ahead. good. <laughs> Me okay. too. Ready? Ready. not the same at all not even close <laughs> it's not I think, bad I think what I should have done was just strain out the almonds because there's a lot of like, like liquid particles no oh. just, take, just use the liquid and take out the actual well the real ones have like I don't know it's really almond forward It's not as good as the other ones. I think the, honestly, the salted pretzel is my favorite. Me too. I would honestly just make all salted pretzels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the way to go. The cinnamon sugar one was good, it, like if you like sweet pretzels, but the salted one was by far the best. All right, so main takeaways. Main takeaways. Salted pretzel is the best. Yes. The cinnamon one isn't bad. No, it's not bad. I this is that. the only one that's like way off from what it should taste like. <laughs> <laughs> um, Darn. <laughs> I know, but that's like your favorite one. Yeah, and we should definitely make it thicker. Yes. Um, well, the almond ones were thicker is what sucks. Yeah, like, like those were the It has a good ones. texture on the inside, I feel like. Mm-hmm. It has a nice like fluffy, fluffy like pretzel, like soft pretzel texture. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're making these, don't forget you need extra flour. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Um, make sure your yeast is good. We still don't know for sure that the I yeast was good. Maybe the yeast just didn't work. But I but the really other don't... ones were good though. Yeah, they were good, but I just don't think it rose. I feel like it. And did I don't a know what the bit. purpose of yeast rising or what the dough rising does, but I think that's what makes it a fluffier texture. Like adds more air into it. It might. I don't I... know. Maybe that's why it bubbles. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Somebody knows. So <laughs> let us know in the comments. If Have you're you guys a yeast made expert. This? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, who's gonna know that about yeast? A chemist. Okay. So if you're majoring in chemistry, please let us know. Or if you just have any general cooking knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. Yeah. That was pretty good. It didn't go as bad as I thought. No, I was I was getting nervous there for a while. I was like, oh no, this is not gonna be good. But I think it turned out well, and I like that they don't, they only take like 10 minutes in the oven. Like mm -hmm. you don't have to bake it for like 30 minutes. The longest part was letting it rest and preheating the oven. What time did we start, like two o'clock? Yeah, so it took us two and a half two hours. And a half hours. <laughs> two and a half hours to make these pretzels. But it was worth it. I'm sure if you have any sort of Yeah, you'll idea probably be faster than us. So cool. Yeah, it wasn't hard. First time making pretzels I feel like was a success. Yeah. Awesome. Well <laughs> thank you guys for watching. You're super awesome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> and share the video. <laughs> With that weird dude from across the Yeah, street. with him. You know the one. <laughs>
I saw some people in the last video saying that they did share it with the weirdo from Acosta Street. Oh. Acosta Street, so. Thank you. Thank you for that. You're amazing. Make sure y'all check out our other videos if you haven't already. And check and out Peter's main channel. Yes. Vlogmas <laughs> is happening. It. And I'm posting a new video every single day. Mm -hmm. So, super exciting stuff going on. All right. Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. We'll see, see you in the next one. In the next one. <laughs> Bye.